God is answering prayers and blessing people all over Kansas City. My name is Matt Adams, and I'm the pastor of Community Impact here at Westside Family Church. And my ministry supports uh, helping Westsiders to engage outside the walls in the greater Kansas City area. Westside is a great church with uh, influence probably more than most churches in the city. And through that, we're able to bring together other churches and nonprofits to work together to accomplish uh, goals and dreams that we all have, but we can't accomplish uh, independent of each other. I'm Greg Ely, and I am the senior pastor of Paseo Baptist Church, which is one of the oldest black churches in Kansas City. I'm Desiree Moniz. I'm executive director of Hope Faith Ministries, and we have a day center downtown for the homeless and less fortunate. We thought, wouldn't it be great if we could reach out into the urban core and find some other pastors, some other churches who want to come alongside us and share this vision of churches working together. There are things out there that you can experience that is more than just what occurs in your neighborhood. I set up another meeting to go back and tour Hope Faith, and I met with the director, Desiree Moniz. I have never been so impressed with the ministry in my life. It was amazing what they're doing there. What was started, really, the heart of Hope Faith started with the hot meals, but people wondered, how do you have 800 to 1,200 people come through your door every day? And it was never us. We never did a thing to market. We never did anything. We opened our doors, and we focused everything on Christ, and they began to come. She spent 30 minutes just praising our work. She said, Hope Faith wouldn't even be there without the influence of Westside Family Church. They come hopeless and they walk through our doors and they're just looking for love. They're looking for someone to give them hope. We can see in all the brokenness in Kansas City, we can begin to see glimpses of what God intends the kingdom of God to be like. We think that it has to do with financial contributions or something very big that we must do to move people forward, but oftentimes it's just simple acts of kindness and love that we see begin to bring healing and restoration and they begin to advance forward. One of the reasons that I enjoy working with churches like Westside and, and like Colonial Presbyterian and Covenant um, community is it allows us to have our eyes open to the possibility of ministry. That God is doing a lot of great things at Paseo. God is doing a lot of great things at Westside. God is doing a lot of great things with the church in Kansas City. Coming out and volunteering and bringing your time, talents, and treasures makes a significant difference in the community. And each one of us is uniquely designed and we're created so differently that when we come with what we're passionate about, we change the world. So coming down and doing what it is you love is significant. It changes lives. And that, that'd be the biggest blessing for Hope Faith that Westside could bring. To see that those kids begin to have hope, to see people in the neighborhood begin to have hope, to see um, people begin to see that there's more to life than just this vicious cycle of depravity is, is awesome. Thank you Westside for being the extremely generous church that you are, a church with a heart for Kansas City. And uh, we love you. Uh, we are so blessed to be serving alongside of you. Thank you for all you do to bring the kingdom of God to Kansas City. We have people that walk through our door. Um, I have this young gentleman that's in our internship program, and um, when we met him, he was running the streets. Uh, he was living outside, um, moving drugs, and really had no purpose. We sat down and talked with him and asked him what his dreams were, 
and and he's on, he's he's 17 years old and he says um his dream is to be a, a dishwasher in a restaurant someday and so we talked to him about entering our program and becoming a dishwasher at Hope Faith. We told him it was one of the largest restaurants in Kansas City, <laughs> that we were moving 1,200 to 1,800 hot meals a day. And so uh, we'd love to have him as a, as a dishwasher. And we began to work with him. And it was, it was a journey. And he was unable to um, function very well in, in society. But once he had a mental health assessment, once he got on meds, and once he was clean and free from drugs, he advanced so quickly and we began to work with him and it was a systematic process of doing dishes and we did it over and over and trained as many times as possible it was like groundhog day just doing the same thing every day until one day he took over that position and he's very confident and he walks differently talks differently and he has a position in kansas city is proud to wear a shirt shows up every day at 6 30. He's the first one there. He shows up to volunteer for Freedom Covenant on Sundays because he's just so proud to be a dishwasher in Kansas City. And so he's one of our favorite stories because um, his dream was something that was so, it was such an easy gift to give. And to see him walking in it and finding joy and fulfillment and finding his way to Christ through all of that, it it's just makes, you know, your day just makes life valuable for us too. So this guy's the best dishwasher ever. He's the most dedicated and detailed dishwasher in Kansas City. <laughs>